Hi, this is Mr. Tarek Salman, a math teacher at Amjad High School and at Zahik Abdur High School. In this video, I will talk about integration and I will solve some uh, sessions for grade 12 LS and GS. But first, let me introduce my YouTube channel containing more than 120 video. The name of this YouTube channel is Mad Tarek Salman. Subscribe to get all news video. Uh, first, let me take grade, uh, let me take the session uh, 2017 second session LS. Okay, uh, here I don't solve all the session. Uh, I will do the integration exactly. So here we have denote by A alpha is the area of the region bounded by C, the curve of this function. Uh, X prime or X. Uh, and I want to find this area and I have to prove that the area is equal to uh, this value alpha is the solution of this equation okay to do that first let me uh, go to uh, uh, go to a GeoGebra activity Okay, here is the function f of x, x plus 2 minus 2 ex. This, this one is the curve of the function. This curve cuts x prime or x at x equal alpha and at uh, o0, 0, 0. Okay, uh, first we need the area bounded by the curve c and x prime or x. The area between c and x prime or x is this one, the shaded part here. Okay, to calculate this area because f is uh, above x prime of x, it's the integral of f of x dx between alpha and zero. The integral from alpha to zero f of x dx is equal to integral from alpha to zero to this function dx. Now uh, come back to uh, the uh, to the uh, PowerPoint. Uh, on the PowerPoint. Calculating area first. The area, the area uh, as we show on the GeoGebra activity is A alpha equal from alpha to zero f of x dx. Okay. Is equal integral for f of x dx x plus two minus two x. To do this integral, integral of x is one over two x squared x squared over two integral of 2 is 2x minus integral of 2ex is 2ex between to take it between 0 and alpha now replace 0 f uh, f of 0 big f capital letter f of 0 minus f of alpha f of 0 we get 0 0 we get minus 2 is 0 it's equal to minus 2 minus 2 minus replace substitute x by alpha we get alpha squared over 2 minus 2 alpha because the minus here is for all the expression minus 2 e alpha and minus we get plus 2 e alpha okay but f of alpha e equal to zero uh, that is given from the expression okay uh, we have f of x equal that replace x by alpha we get alpha plus 2 minus 2 e alpha equal to zero so 2 e alpha equal alpha plus 2 now we come here and we replace 2 e alpha by alpha plus 2 uh, so we get here if I, if when I replace 2 e alpha by alpha plus 2 I get minus 2 alpha plus alpha minus alpha the minus 2 and the plus 2 uh, will be eliminate okay and I get here minus alpha squared square unit okay continue now uh, second session we take 2017 first session ls also okay this is the session and uh, now uh, let me take the highlight this one is the function okay we, where is the area we need to calculate the area of the region bounded by the curve c curve c of this function y axis and the line delta the line delta is the line of equation y equal to x so between c y axis and x and y equal to x the line delta 
اوكي كالكوليتنج انت ديريفاتيف فيرست اوكي بيكوز هير وي اسك اس تو دو فايند ان انتي ديريفاتيف كابيتال لتر اف اوف سمول اف اوكي سو وي هاف تو دو ذا انتي ديريفاتيف اوف ذيس فانكشن انتي ديريفاتيف از انتجرال اوف ذيس فانكشن Uh, because this function, these two functions are continuous, we can separate the integral into two integrals. Okay, integral of 2 dx is equal to uh, 2x, 2x plus c. Integral of this one, we must use integration by parts because we have a polynomial times exponential function. To do that, usually we take this one as u and this one as v prime. As v prime, I remember that integral, uh, integration by part u v prime dx is equal to u v minus integral u prime v dx. Okay, so. Uh, u is equal 1 minus x, v prime is equal e x. Calculate the derivative of u prime is equal minus 1, and the antiderivative of v, antiderivative of v x is equal to e x also. Okay, uh, now uh, we do u v minus integral uh, u prime v. So u times v is 1 minus x times e x is equal to that minus this minus integral minus 1 times e x dx plus don't forget this one the 2 dx is equal to e x plus c uh, still to find the integral of this one minus times minus uh, it gives plus integral of e x is equal to e x now we have the antiderivative of f of x okay uh, now let me go to a GeoGebra activity. Okay, we have here the function f of x. This is the curve of f of x, uh, curve C. Okay, we have here the equation y equal to x, the line, uh, the line delta. Okay, we need the area between C, between the line delta y equal to x, and y prime o y the area between c delta and y prime o y is this area here let me show you the shaded part here is the shaded part how to calculate this area we take the ab above curve minus the below curve between uh, between 0 and 1 so it's equal to integral from 0 to 1 to f of x minus 2x between 0 and 1 okay uh, now let me uh, go to uh, go back to the uh, to the powerpoint okay calculating area of f part 4c integral from 0 to 1 f of x minus 2x dx is equal integral of f of x is this one already we have it from the uh, we have it from the uh, antiderivative from the first part this one okay integral of minus 2x is equal to integral uh, is equal to minus x squared uh, okay uh, and now if we take this one to take it between 0 and 1 uh, when we replace, once we substitute x by 1, we get 1 minus 1, so this one is eliminated. Okay, e1, so is equal to e plus 2 minus 1 squared is equal to 1, minus bracket. Now we have to replace x by 0. Uh, 1 minus 0 is equal to 1, e power one, uh, 0 is equal to 1, so here we have a 1 e power x e power 1 so it's equal to plus 1 
plus 0 minus 0 is equal to that so 2 and minus 2 we eliminate this one and this one and we get e minus 1 u squared okay now we take a session of uh, gs uh, 2017 second session this is the question here okay as usually we will do only the integral part uh, we have the function f of x this one okay uh, we ask us in the part 5 to calculate the integral from the uh, integral of this one by using integration by parts okay and uh, we have here uh, we ask us uh, also to calculate the area of the region bounded by gamma uh, gamma is the uh, inverse for the graph of the inverse function the curve of the inverse function of f and the three lines of equation y equal one x equal this one and x equal e and uh, also we ask us to calculate f of e uh, in fact f of e will be equal to e plus one over e squared okay e plus one over e squared uh, continue calculating antiderivative part five integral of this one uh, by using integration by part we take u uh, equal ln x and 1 over x squared equal v prime uh, calculate derivative of u u prime is equal 1 over x integral v is equal to uh, integral of 1 over x squared uh, dx integral of 1 over x squared dx will be equal minus 1 over x minus 1 over x okay now integration by part i uh, already write the, the formula in the next slide in the, in the previous slide so u times v minus u prime v okay integral of this one u times v minus 1 over x times ln x minus integral 1 over x times minus 1 over x i get minus 1 over x squared dx okay integral of this one the minus and the minus will be plus integral of one 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 over x squared is equal minus one over x okay so we calculate the integral now uh, curve of c and gamma and the area this one is the curve uh, this one is the curve the blue black one is the curve of c uh, the curve the red curve here is the curve of gamma over uh, the interval 1 plus infinity the inverse function we can check very clear uh, c and uh, gamma are symmetric with respect to the first bisector y equal x okay so this one is gamma this one is the line x equal e plus 1 over e squared this one is x equal 1 and this one y equal 1 uh, to do that i have to do integral of uh, f uh, of f minus 1 uh, minus 1 between oh, e plus 1 over e squared and 1 but usually it, it is it's more easy to find the area between the curve c not with uh, the expression of f minus 1 so the area of this one is symmetric to this area this area is between uh, you see here we have f of e equal e plus 1 over e squared uh, symmetric of gamma is c symmetric of gamma is c a symmetric of this one by y equal uh, by y equal x is y equal e plus 1 over e squared y if x equal 1 will be y equal 1 and x equal y equal 1 will be x equal 1 okay so this area uh, to calculate this area i can do uh, I, I can only calculate this area between c this line here this line here is this line here is a y equal x plus 1 e plus 1 over e squared okay and between 1 and the point e here is e okay so the integral between uh, I don't use this one between f minus 1 because I don't I, I don't want to use the uh, expression of f minus 1 so I change to integral from 1 to e f minus 1 I take f of x f of x 
minus this line e plus 1 over e squared okay to do this integration we do already the antiderivative of uh, of uh, ln x over x squared okay so integral of f of x is x over x squared 1 over x plus ln x over x squared minus integral of this one okay integral of 1 over x is equal to ln x integral of this one we already find uh, antiderivative of this one is minus 1 minus ln x over x to take it between 1 and e integral of this one this one is a constant so the integral of this one is equal to minus e plus 1 over e squared into x x to take it between e and 1 so uh, here we, ha we have to put x between 1 e and 1 but uh, e and 1 so it's equal to e minus 1 okay now continue uh, ln of e is equal to get this one ln of e is equal to 1 plus ln of e is equal to 1, one minus 1 and minus 1 I get minus 2 over e okay now uh, integral uh, minus uh, minus bracket ln of 1 is 0 ln of 1 is also 0 so I get minus 1 uh, minus 1 over 1 so we have here uh, uh, minus 2 over e is this one and the one is here okay this one here we get minus e plus 1 over e squared uh, times I put the minus here this one e plus 1 times e minus 1 here I have 1 so I get e squared minus 1 is the form a minus b a plus b over e squared okay how to arrive to this one is equal 1 minus 2 over e uh, plus 1 uh, minus e squared over e squared is equal to 1 minus and minus the plus 1 over e squared simplify plus 1 and minus 1 I get 1 minus 2 over e plus 1 over e squared okay and the area finally is equal to this one or we can uh, do common denominator e squared to get this one or by using calculator 0 0.4 unit of area okay uh, don't forget to see my website uh, tarixalman.blogspot.com and thank you to see this video